Now, Tony, you said our logs. I count 698. Did you count the two on the north side of the garage? I'll start over. One, no, will, will, will. two, Come on. three. Let's go upstairs and see some of the rooms up there. You come with us, too. We'll go right over here to the left is one of my favorite rooms. This is the library. Uh-huh. And it's a relatively small room for this house, as you can see. But it's quiet and peaceful. Has that beautiful view out the window to Turtle Rock. What every call every room's got a great view. Every room has a great view. And also in here I have some of my handiwork. I do a lot of needlework. Here is one I love. This is our old bulldog. Our is that female. Peaches? This is Peaches, who just passed <laughs> away three years oh. ago. And I had her portrait done on, on needlepoint canvas and then did this for it. It took a long time, but I'm real proud you of it. You do that? How long does it take? How many hours to do that? Oh, many, many hours. It's hard to judge because I do it on airplanes and airports and hotel rooms, you know, while traveling. And then this is a sample of my crochet work. And I love this because it's so cheerful. And I like it in this room with the dark green. Mm -hmm. Use lots of your different scraps if you have leftover scrap colors to make this. Yeah, I mean, this den, the green, gives you that kind of real forest feeling. Yeah, exactly. I mean, you exactly. bring the environment inside. Mm -hmm. That's what we tried to do in this room. That's what I'm guessing. <laughs> it would be decorated. Now, we're going to go upstairs? Yeah, I want you to see the bedrooms. There's some nice stuff up there, too. The bedrooms? We're off to the bedrooms. Follow okay. us. Okay. All right, we're heading up to the, uh, is this the fourth level? This is the top level. Yeah, the fourth level. You have to be in good shape to live in this house okay. with all these stairs. Anyhow, this room is the master bedroom, and I, I love this room. Makes me feel good every time I come in here. I think it's so pretty, if you're into this style. And I have some of my, you know, my nice things, uh, some of the uh, crafts that I do, right. quilting and crocheting and some needlepoint. And my favorite picture, a portrait of Daryl, is over there. Oh, a very rare shot of Daryl Dragon there with no hat on. Right, no There's, hat. No and I always picture. thought he had a hairpiece. Uh. <laughs> no, he didn't. Now he's going to get you for that. And um, this portrait up here, uh, a friend did for me of my old bulldog, Broderick. It's the first bulldog Daryl and I ever had. Uh -huh. Anyway. Your, your handiwork here? Well, this, this is the thing that inspired me to do a quilt in the first place. This quilt Daryl and I bought in Arkansas in a crafts place. It was made by a 93-year-old woman who lived alone. And I thought, gee, she put all these stitches in by hand. I thought that was very special. I wanted to do it myself. So, this is my four-year-in-progress quilt. Four years? Do yeah. They take, they take, normally take that no, long? No, no, but I did it all by hand, and, uh, you know, it got so big now, it's a point I can't take it with me on the road anymore. Mm -hmm. I do a lot of my work on, in airports and things. Right, but I'll, I'll kind of spread it out and show okay. it on the bed. We'll put it over here, and you can kind of see. I keep forgetting what it's going to look like eventually mm -hmm. because yeah. I'm working oh, on little pieces. Yeah. It's called Trip Around the World. And as you can see, each one of the squares is outlined with three, three times. And on the back of the quilt, it will make a design as well, once you're through. Quickly, okay. before we go, because I'm kind of proud of this too, these are some of the needlepoint pillows that I've done. Mm -hmm. And uh, these are real easy to take along. That's why I do a lot of needlepoint. But and I go done through all periods. These? Yeah. You, well, no, I didn't do the stuffed animals. No. But I've done just about all of these needlepoint mm -hmm. pillows here. And it's also nice to make them and give them as gifts for friends. So now we'll take you and show you our twin bathrooms and our jacuzzi room in the middle. This is the bathroom. This is my bathroom. This is your bathroom, okay. Uh -huh. And this, I love it. When you're in here taking a shower, go on into the shower. It's look at fine. this. Look at this shower. I will just tell you about right. I've been in everybody's shower, and, but look up. Look, look up. up. There's look a at that wonderful skylight. skylight up there. My favorite thing is when it's snowing and you're in there and you can see the snow falling through the skylight. You're in a hot shower. It's, it's great. I love this room. I love all my rooms. Now, I don't see a bathtub, though. Is there, do you have a separate tub somewhere? Well, yeah, we do have a jacuzzi tub in between our two bathrooms. Here oh. it is, right here. Oh. You can get very romantic in, in here with all these nice soft lights. No, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, well, a little invitation. Maybe Daryl and I, but... Uh... You and Daryl. But also, you can open the windows oh. here and look out in the back oh, so, and see Oh, nothing the like it in the summertime. Yeah, and in the yeah. summertime, too, open up the doors. It's like having a nice jacuzzi outside. And this Darryl? is the captain's throne? Is Darryl? this the captain's throne in here? See, I'm not allowed in here. Oh, you're not allowed in? Oh, <laughs> oh boy. Can we wake you up? <laughs> What's going on, man? This well, is my only place I can get away from you people. I lock the door, I lock the door, you come around the back. Oh. We're doing a complete house tour and it wouldn't be complete unless we saw the captain's bathroom. Right. This is where he washes his hands, you see this? <laughs> no, I want to show, I want to show you a shower. I gotta you pick go, go in the shower. Go, on, go in the shower. Okay. okay, yeah, there is something here. Right. That now you see, in the shower, it looks like a normal shower. Don't show this magazine. Okay. On the outside are these portholes so you can see how Daryl's doing in the shower. How you doing? And if you want a little more information, well, there's a, a lower porthole. <laughs> But this is what do we call this? This I don't know. 
they, they sometimes call this the porno hole in the building. Oh, <laughs> wow, really? <laughs> All right. Now, now I'm stuck in here. This is Daryl's bedroom. You want to show us around? You show us around here, though. Sure. This is, might as well. We're already in my bathroom. We started. <laughs> <laughs> this is Tony. Uh-huh. Uh, she looks very familiar. <laughs> How'd you get in here? Hi, Tony. <laughs> I came in the other door. All right. Show anyway. us around a little bit. This is, this is a great room. What do you think? This is your favorite? This is my favorite so far. I'm right on. It's a man's room. It is. It's well, my room. Uh -huh. I decorated it. I have to get in on this. <laughs> All right. So now you have hats. Yeah, obviously. And this is the only dog that's allowed in here. As you can see, that we this is the only carpeted room in mm -hmm. the house. That's because he won't let the dogs in here. We have fake dogs in this room. <laughs> <laughs> and there's, did you get my hat collection? A few of them we, we can we get. We saw that. Okay. Yeah. We see the uh, this. The, how come the log is kind of well, ready there? Yeah. This was uh, this was discussed. This was a bad log, and. Uh, we figured, well, it should go in my room because <laughs> no one's allowed in here to see it. Uh -huh. And anyway, this is a, a genuine wood stove. This is the kind they make in 1984. Mm -hmm. Tony, you have your own bedroom. Mm -hmm. And Daryl, you have your own bedroom. Mm -hmm. is, there a, is there a reason for this? Is there a, how do you guys, do you plan well, your place or mine? How do you get together? Yeah, well, you kind of got the idea. It's kind of, you know, who goes to whose room in the middle of the night. And it's, it's really nice. But the reason we did it was years and years of being on the road together, working together. We found that the best way to uh, maintain our sanity was to have separate space. And even now, when we're on the road, we always have, if we don't get a two-bedroom suite, we get two rooms connecting. Mm -hmm. So we have two bathrooms, two TVs, the whole thing. It works out real well for us. Right. Now, is there a romantic spot where you guys go at the end of the day? Yeah, there is. Let's take him out to the lake. Well, Tony, Daryl, I guess after a tough day of having the home show, Looking through your drawers and your closets and everything, you like to come down here and kind of relax. We like to come down here almost any night, especially at sunset. So beautiful and so quiet and peaceful. And in March, it feels like summer down here. Yeah, it does, because we get the sun all day here. Love to look out here. Look at that. What a view. What a setting. What a life. <laughs> <laughs>